Once equilibrium has been established, we know that the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction, and the ratio of the concentration of the products to the concentration of the reactants remains constant as long as the temperature remains constant. Now, there are a number of changes that can be made to that reaction which would initially upset equilibrium, and we use Le Chatelier's principle to explain how the reaction responds to that. Le Chatelier's principle states that when the equilibrium in a closed system is disturbed, the system will reinstate a new equilibrium by favoring the reaction that will oppose the disturbance. Or, more simply put, the reaction will try to undo the change that we have made. So in this reaction over here, once it's at equilibrium, if we were to suddenly increase the amount of ammonia by increasing, by adding ammonia to this reaction, we have now upset equilibrium because we've thrown this ratio out of balance and the reaction is going to try to respond to that. So the initial response is that equilibrium is no longer in state and the reaction tries to undo that by decreasing what I have increased. I have added an amount of ammonia, so the reaction's response is to decrease the amount of ammonia by favoring the reverse reaction. When we say that we favor the reverse reaction, what we are saying is that for this brief period of time, the rate of the reverse reaction is greater than the rate of the reverse of the forward reaction. By favoring the reverse reaction, we are decreasing the concentration of ammonia and increasing the concentration of hydrogen and nitrogen. This happens only for as long as it takes to re-establish that initial balance or that ratio that we had there that gets back to our constant Kc since we have not changed the temperature and then equilibrium is restored and our forward and reverse reactions remain constant. Once again, we can make another change and see what the response is by saying what would happen if we were to suddenly increase the amount of hydrogen present in this reaction. So that is the change, the external change. Le Chatelier's principle says it will try to undo what we have done. It will try to decrease what I have increased. In doing that, it must favor the direction that uses up what I have added, which in this case is favoring the forward direction, which uses up nitrogen and hydrogen and creates or produces ammonia. So for this brief period of time, the forward reaction is proceeding at a faster rate than the reverse reaction. Once again, until equilibrium is re-established, at which point the forward reaction rate is equal to the reverse reaction rate. And because all of these reactions happen in a fixed ratio, the same Kc value will be re-established because the only change that can affect Kc is a temperature change. So Kc will remain constant as long as the temperature remains constant.